to another Robot Adventures review. Come by, we got a nice little bing bun. And today I'm drinking a little bit of Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola, have a Pepsi. Because it's in the morning. It's morning before. Morning happens before the evening. <coughs> so I'm not drinking now. But. Yeah, everybody doing alright? Uh, this fucking autofocus shit. Anyway, I uh, got a couple comments on my uh, Darth Maul th video there, and uh, mm, one said that uh, <coughs> it was nice that uh, a reviewer talked bad about a figure. I was like, well, it got me thinking, and uh, I said it a long time ago. What is what are these rankings and stuff? Basically, this is maybe the worst uh, figure, Star Wars figure I have, if not one of the worst Transformers I have. Uh, <coughs> don't like this guy. Don't like. I like his spaceship mode. Spaceship mode is very nice. This is running, flying around, shooting things. Very nice. Very nice. However. His robot mode, as uh, most people know, is a piece of shit, and the transformation is a piece of shit, and the plastics is crap, put together by fucking spit and cum, I don't know, it's just not stuck together very well. Well, let's uh, check out his features here, he's got Mr. Mr. Boba Fett in there, pretty nice, I guess, these, these things move around. Uh, like, yeah, moving around, I guess, that moves around a bit, um, <coughs> and he's got little guns here, which is, I guess, it's okay, nice, um, oh, he's also got a, a, a gun underneath here, so he can fly around and shoot. Shoot this gun off. Hey, get shoot shoot the camera. That was pretty powerful. Anyway, that's that in vehicle mode. Pretty nice vehicle mode. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I I thought this was a strange spaceship because spaceships are supposed to fly like this. That this thing was flying around like this. I thought that was kind of strange. I just Ripped off one of the guns there, but anyway. All right, let's transform them. Pretty simple transformation. Let's. <coughs> those are his arms. Those are his legs. That's it. So <laughs> let's see. Now we can flip this up. Flip everything up. Do like a little flip reversal thing here. That goes down. Guns up there. Um. Cockpit canopy opens up. Uh, if I can get it open, there it goes. Oh no! Boba Fett pops out. He's standing up in there. Uh, the head is in there behind there. You can just pop it through the back there. And uh, this wing thingy folds up. And drops it back underneath there, like so. And that's pretty much him right there. Do his legs, pop his little guns off here. Uh, rotate that waist like that. <coughs> Drop his feet down. He's got little heels back here. Let's split his legs apart. Let's see if we can get his heels spread out there. A lot of this stuff is not really showing up on camera, is it? I'm sweating now. That's it. He looks like that, uh, 
character from uh, Mad TV, the big fat guy with the jogging suit. I don't know his name, but legs telescope a bit. This is a piece of shit figure. Oh, his hands. His hands come out like that. <coughs> That's pretty much him. Oh, he's got his little, I guess, mouth, headphone, hands free speaker piece there. He's got that. He's got his little guns. Can put his little guns in there. Let's rotate them around. That's a five minutes. We're going to clear. These Star Wars reviews are pretty easy since uh, they uh, require very little uh, uh, very little effort. And all I do is throw this uh, video into uh, a prototype uh, Windows uh, like a review thing. And then I just change the title and then that's it. So I can do these, you know, pop them out really quickly. There's nothing really I want to refer to outside of Star Wars. I mean, I mean, I don't have a Boba Fett figure. So let's see if we can do a zoom in close up. That might be interesting. Anything interesting there? I don't know. <coughs> Molding, of course, is very nice. If you just don't play with them, don't touch them, then they are nice. Look, look at that detail on that elbow. I mean, it really suits no purpose, but it's really, it's got two different colors on there. Paint jobs, <coughs> pretty nice. But as far as it, it seems to have missed the mark, missed the idea. It's a Transformer Star Wars figure, but it's not fun. You really can't play with it like, like fly around and pose it, and then you know, it's just supposed to be looked at like a model or something. He's a crap. I saw, it's just like that fat guy and is running around on fat It looks like somebody's uncle. Somebody, you know, you just want to... Yeah, kind of crap. Anyway, not recommended. <laughs> I was actually at the, the store one day looking at Transformers and the, the kid comes by. Uh, a foreign kid, not Japanese kid. And uh, he started picking up some Transformers and picked up some Star Wars Transformers. And I just stood there next to him. I was, I was shaking his head, shaking my head. No, just don't get that one. They're all crap. <coughs> but I felt bad because, you know, if he wanted to get a crap figure, well, then he had the right to. All right. Well, not much more to say about this one. Worst Star Wars figure I have. Uh, I think it's crap. I'd give it... I just don't like it so much, so I give it about four, three and a half. I just don't like them. If if I'm just reviewing the mold on the vehicle mode, it's maybe nice, but as a transformer, he's crap. All right, guys, talk to you later. <coughs> There's been another Robot Adventures morning review with a Pepsi Cola. Have a Pepsi. Talk to you guys later.